Welcome back to another episode of Engineering Today, and hope you're all having a great time. SpaceX just crossed a big line in the Starship program. Booster 14, the same super heavy booster that launched on January 16, 2025, is being prepared to fly again. This will be the first time SpaceX reuses a booster in the Starship test program. It's also the first time we'll see a significant portion of the engines from that previous flight used again. SpaceX ran a static fire test on Booster 14 at Launch Pad A. What made this test different is that Booster 14 had already flown once. This was the first time SpaceX had fired up a flight-proven Starship booster. The fact that Booster 14 is being prepped for another flight marks real progress. It means SpaceX is starting to recycle its biggest hardware. It's not just about cost savings, it's about speed. If boosters can be flown, caught, refurbished, and relaunched quickly, Starship could deliver on its goal of high-frequency launches. But SpaceX isn't rushing to fly Flight 9 just yet. We don't have a date. Elon Musk posted after the static fire, calling it the first reflight of the Starship Super Heavy rocket booster coming up soon, but that's all we know. There's a reason for the wait. The FAA hasn't closed the mishap investigation into Flight 8 yet. Even though Flight 7's case was recently closed, Flight 7 and 8 failed in almost the same way, during the upper stage ascent burn. So SpaceX will likely keep the same test profile for Flight 9, hoping to finally nail the in-space relight of a Raptor engine and deploy dummy Starlink satellites. Until the Flight 8 investigation is over, Flight 9 can't move forward. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking, though. NASA's waiting. Starship is supposed to be the human landing system for NASA's Artemis missions. That timeline is already behind, and now things at NASA might shift again. Jared Isaacman, who is expected to become NASA's next administrator, has deep ties to SpaceX and not much love for Boeing's SLS. If confirmed, his leadership could favor SpaceX even more. At the same time, Elon Musk is making big promises. He's still talking about sending humans to Mars in the next four to five years. President Trump loves the idea. On the other hand, Russia is making moves of its own. Scientists there just showed off a new plasma propulsion system that could change how deep space travel works. This engine doesn't use combustion like traditional rockets. Instead, it uses electromagnetic fields to shoot hydrogen ions at incredibly high speeds, up to 100 kilometers per second. For comparison, chemical rockets max out at about 4.5 kilometers per second. That means a ship using this plasma engine could potentially reach Mars in just 30 days. That's months faster than current Starship projections. The plasma engine isn't ready to fly yet, but it's real. The Russians built a prototype and are testing it in a vacuum chamber that simulates space. It generates 300 kilowatts of power and is designed to run for 2,400 hours, long enough for a full round trip to Mars. It won't replace chemical rockets like Starship entirely. Rockets will still be needed to lift spacecraft off Earth, but once in orbit, this plasma engine could take over and carry payloads, or people, much faster than before. Think of it as a space tug. One of the advantages is its fuel, hydrogen. It's light, efficient, and abundant. Hydrogen also generates less heat during use, which helps the engine last longer. And since hydrogen can potentially be collected in space, this could reduce dependency on Earth-based fuel. Of course, there are big challenges. The plasma engine likely needs a nuclear power source to function at full capacity. That adds complexity, regulation, and risk. And for now, its performance hasn't been verified independently. But if it works, it could seriously shift the balance in the space race. SpaceX isn't ignoring these advances, but their main focus remains on making Starship fly again and again, quickly and safely. Reusability is their advantage, speed is what they're after. Plasma engines are interesting, but they're far from flight ready. Starship is real and it's flying now. 
The road to Mars is still long. The tech race is heating up. But for now, SpaceX just put its first booster back on the pad. And that's how the next chapter begins. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.